Hello, driving intelligence community. Well, I haven't done anything on the CTSV in a while. Don't leave this video just because you don't own a Cadillac CTSV. The tool I use in this video is very useful for bleeding brakes and hydraulic clutches for many vehicles, so stay tuned. And don't forget to comment and like, two ways you can help me grow my channel. Changing the oil, and I thought, well, I have it up on the ramps. I'm going to finally, and I hate to say finally, check on the clutch master cylinder. Now, I haven't ever bled this. I've always topped it off. There's the master cylinder right there, that smaller one. And it is not a lot of fun to get to the, uh, the bleeder on this T56 transmission. I'm on the driver's side of the vehicle. Here's the T56, the bell housing, the LS2 engine. And right up here is the little brass fitting that goes to the slave cylinder in the transmission. And that's what pushes the clutch forward and backward when you're depressing the clutch pedal in the vehicle. Now, this is the, to bleed this is similar to what you do with a brake. You're going to have to crack this open. You're going to uh, open it up a little bit, maybe a quarter, half turn. You depress the clutch. That pushes some fluid out. You'll collect that in an appropriate container. You'll tighten this back up, and then you'll release the clutch, and you'll do that repeatedly until you get uh, clean fluid coming out of here. And you're going to have to constantly go back and look at that master cylinder back up in the engine compartment to make sure that you're not emptying that because it's so small and out of concern for how many clutch pushes you, you do and you, how much fluid you drain out of this, you might run the, uh, the, uh, the slave cylinder dry. So you have to be very cautious. The benefits of watching my channel is that I do all the testing and try to figure out the solution so you don't have to. So you can come to me and you can find out how to do this right the first time. Now, the biggest problem I had with bleeding this clutch was finding the right tool. I went to Harbor Freight, bought two different kits from them. Neither one worked properly. I bought a few kits from Amazon, had to return those because they didn't work until I found something on Amazon I hadn't really considered, a different style bleeder kit. And that's what I have here. You can see up in the corner of the screen. I'll also link this in the description below. But this makes things a lot easier. You're going to see in the video it also has a check valve, so whenever you're bleeding brakes or the clutch, the check valve won't allow air to get back up into the system. So when you take your foot off the brake, for example, bleeding brakes, or if you're bleeding this clutch master cylinder, and you pull the clutch pedal back up, it will not pull air into the system. So that's a, that's a beautiful uh, part of this tool. So now let's get this clutch bled. This kit is really unique. I'm sure it's been around a while, but I've never seen one of these before. I've just seen the old classical type of bleeding kits. It's just a hose with the uh, the vacuum reservoir to pull the, the brake fluid into it. This one provides you a bunch of adapters that go on each type of uh, system, whether it's disc brakes, drum brakes, or your clutch master cylinder. You can see how deep it is. It's got a seal in there, so that prevents any of the fluid from coming out around that. It's a six point instead of the 12 points, so it really holds on to the bleeder. Uh, here you've got another uh, seal, O-ring, that holds this wrench on so it doesn't come off while you're doing the, the bleeding operation. And then of course, as I've mentioned, uh, or I think I mentioned, but this hose has a check valve and there's an arrow on it somewhere, it's a little hard to see, but that tells you the direction of the fluid as you're bleeding it so you don't get any air pulled back up into the system, whether it be the brakes or the clutch. For better reference, this photo shows the location of the slave cylinder and the bleeder on the T56 transmission on the left side of the transmission or driver's side of the vehicle. I had to attach the adapter, hose, and wrench as an assembly because of the very limited room. Once fully in place, the kit provides a good seal and holds the bleeder securely because of the six-point design. At this point, I had a helper to press the clutch while I loosened the bleeder about an eighth of a turn. Let's get it ready. push release even though the kit has a check valve preventing air bubbles from entering the slave cylinder i took the extra push. precaution of closing the bleeder release. with each pump of the clutch pedal push release one additional note my assistant had to pull the clutch pedal up from the floor after each pump of the pedal during the bleeding operation here you can see the location of the master cylinder, which uh, feeds the slave cylinder down in the, uh, in the transmission. Inside is a rubber insert. I took that out. Uh, be careful because it is filled with fluid and I dumped it in a container. Put a funnel in there and I fill this up close to the top 
and I get about three pushes out of the, uh, the clutch before I need to refill to make sure I don't pull any air into the slave cylinder. Once you feel you've extracted all the old bad fluid, make sure to top off the master cylinder after reinstalling the insert and now go enjoy that better clutch performance. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me that thumbs up, please comment, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.